As you guys have known that I've done a Joy to Keep YouTube video tutorial a while back, a couple months ago, I think almost a year ago. And a lot of you guys have commented that you guys needed a more updated uh, tutorial on here. So I got these two files right here. I'll put them in a Google Drive and then link it to you guys so you can guys be able to download it. And then from, from that point, do it the exact same way. And not only that, show you how to do it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start up destroy the key. And destroy the key file has every single essential thing you need. So once you open up this file, you want to click on join the key. Of course, it will show you a user a a browser tab for which you can just close out automatically. You don't have to worry about that. So there are some things that you have to do. I have mine on just the way it is. I'm gonna delete both of these just just in case. I'm gonna type this one as new. And then I'm no, I'm gonna type this, I'm gonna type this as we guitar. Okay. And you can see that it has every single one, like, you know, empty. And what you need to do is, of course, you need to have your Wii guitar. And if you have a RafNet adapter, then you plug your RafNet adapter into your computer and you just hold on to this. Sometimes what will happen is that you will have this joystick that is activated. But if it doesn't happen, go to preferences and then go to configure joysticks. And then you don't go into this tab, you go for this one. You go to tab number two, and then you see, please select a device. You then click WUSB Mote V2.1. That is your adapter to your Wii remote. That's all you really have to do for that part. And if you want, you can just do configure game controller, and then this would just be popping up, advanced, all that stuff, just whatever. And then just from there. Okay, so after you click uh, one player WUSB mode version 2.1, then you can head over here. Now you can do, say, for example, associate with other profiles, but the main thing you need to do is have this right here the, the configure joystick key, the configure joysticks setup. And then Say that you want to start configuring all these buttons right here. And there we go. Now everything will start highlighting yellow, whatever you press. Now stick two, don't mind this. This is your whammy bar. And the whammy bar is a current, um, is in currently in development, but everything else, the buttons, the strum bar, the pause and the select button, it all works. Okay. Now, say you are wanting to press uh, button one. Button one, which is your green, it will sometimes be as button one or button five. Whatever you are pressing, you want to set that button to whatever function you want as for the keyboard. So, we go to button five right here, and then we do edit button assignment. And this is where it is comes into. Now you can have it set to keyboard, you can have it set to mouse, or you can just have it disabled. But what I would do is go over here and then click, say for example, a one. So whenever I press this button, it acts as the when I'm pressing down on the one button. And that's really all you need to do for that part. And now see it shows one right there. And some and then all that button two is of course your red so you go over here and when you press two and you do the same way for the rest of the part just go all the way through down your entire fretboard okay now we got the entire fretboard set now we need a strum bar so we go down here around 10 ish or just around yeah it going down the down strum is button 14. So go over here and maybe do the up arrow key. Uh, no, 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 the down arrow key because it's your down strum. And up strum is 13. So we do the up key. And then there's that. And then we do the pause button, which is four. Let's say, hmm, 
Ah, uh, let's say enter. Why not? And then for button three, we would do, mm, let's say E. Why not? Because you're activating star power. And, and that's really what you would use it for. It's just doing your star power. So you have everything set up. The only thing that is messed up is the stick two, which is your whammy bar. But everything else, it is perfect. So now since we have that done out of the way, we can close this out. Next, we need to open is GH input. And then what you need to go to is OBS GH inputs. And then you need to load the file APVKP. And then do the, the APVKP file. And then if I can bring it out over here, editor, there we are. This is what will show up. It, it, will, it will show up first on your main uh, monitor, but if you right click on it and you do editor, then everything will show up. So this is what will show up to have your button set. And as we could scroll down, once you click on these buttons, you see the keys right there they're set to different ones while the up bar and the down bar and then like E and then whatever that's all set so you need to do the exact same thing as you did from here onto here so from this this is the green button is mirrored and then I will show you what to do on OBS after this one so on here green you press one and you go th the same way all the way down four and then five and then let's see here that will be the pause button okay so the pause will be of course we will change that to enter or return and then this one will be e now, if you're like, say, for example, playing on keyboard, like just your standard keyboard, you can have it, you can leave this to space. And then now we'll do it from there. And now what I will do is save this whole entire station. Save layout. And then you can save your, your layouts to this, to whatever you like. I just set it to just whatever I like. So that's done. As you can see now, it is showing up on here. And then if you press the buttons, now everything is going through. Everything is working just perfectly, okay? And so you want to get this transparent as, much, as best as you can. You go to right click, editor, and then now this will bring back up. The background color, what I would do the you know, yeah background color and this is the one right here just two bars over and now we'll do that from there and if we do if we tried to do transparent key not available in an obs compatibility mode that's fine and then this is the background mode and see how everything including the yellow is not you know in the way but if you want, you can change it to blue, you can change it to whatever you like, but I highly advise this green. So we go ahead and close that out. Now it shows up over here. And then since all the buttons are over here, we go ahead and click on filters. And then, yeah, here's what I would do. On OBS, we click on filters. And this is the entire bar right here. Remember, all the buttons work. You configured it that way. You go ahead and go down to color key, I believe. Yes, color key. And then you do custom color. And then you pick screen color and you click that one. And there you go. Now everything shall be removed. Go ahead and fiddle around with the smoothness, with the similarity. But if you want like a recommended color or a recommended like smoothness and similarity, try around 260 or 250. You'll get a good result from there.
and then we go ahead and close that out and now you can see everything is just working that way you can have it set to your top left you can move it to your top right bottom right or bottom left anywhere you like and you can zoom it up and remember what i said earlier that this whole entire thing is mirrored go ahead and click on it right click i meant and you click on transform and you click flip horizontally and now everything is just the way how you press the buttons on how you see in the game i hope this tutorial helps out a lot and if you need to go back to like wherever the parts were i'll leave a time stamps down to where you left off in the meantime if you guys have any questions let me know down in the comments and or uh and mention me on twitter and i'll see what i can do to help you all with here but uh, but for now thank you so much for the tutorial thank you for watching see you guys next time